because I'm about to roll up. I just want to look like an like an inverted butterfly. Why in the hell did they send me screws? Bitch, I'm like, are y'all crazy? Roll up. It pissed me off so good. Like, I was just like, bruh. I don't even know if that made sense just now. I'm drinking a little wine, y'all. I'ma test this out. Keep in mind that I'm an artist. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Charity Sine and I am back with another video. Okay, and today I'm I'm just here. It's been some time. Y'all, I'm so freaking sorry. When I looked at that video and it had really had the nerve to say seven months ago, I was shook. Looking at my last video and it said seven months ago, I was like, dang, what the? Seven months, let's get into the video. Okay, y'all, it's been so, so long since I've done one of these that I'm low-key, I'm like, girl, if something ain't right, just go with it, flow with it, okay? Roll with it. I've already primed with um my NYX Marshmallow Primer, and I'm just gonna go in and color correct with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, but yeah, this is so crazy. This feels so freaking crazy. This is like y'all's first time seeing me like with my piercings. I have an eyebrow piercing. I have a nose piercing and I have a septum. You know, I think that's the biggest difference as far as like my appearance. Other than that, not much has changed. Like, if you girl cheeks done got a little fluffy, bitch, don't tell me. Like, that's rude, just in case you thought about it. I got these piercings, like, I think my eyebrow piercing I got first. And what's so crazy is, like, I used to hate eyebrow piercings. Like, I hated them. I'm like, that, it just don't, I don't, you know, it just don't look good. Like, I... I never used to like them on anyone. Like, if I saw someone someone with an eyebrow piercing, I'm gonna be completely honest. I used to just immediately be turned off. Like, I don't know. Um, and so it was my plan to always like get it back. I just got it on the opposite side because I got my eyebrow piercing over here. So I just was like, let's just do it on the opposite side. So I've always known, you know, I wanna get that back. But I was just like, but I wanna get a piercing like, that I've never had and I can't predict how it'll look. And with my septum, I had a fake septum. I don't know if y'all knew that. Like that little gold ring that I had, I wouldn't have it in while doing my makeup. Cause I think I've had it on my channel. Like I put it on, like when I'm done with my makeup, I'll just slip it on real quick. In a few videos, I know I have it. But um, like I'm like, I want something that, you know, just something different something to you know shake it up and then out of nowhere i just started imagining myself with an eyebrow piercing i'm like uh-uh girl because you never used to like them so what you doing what you talking about and the more i thought about it the more i envisioned it i could just see myself with one and i'm like oh do you want an eyebrow piercing and i sure did get one i went and got it and it didn't hurt if there's anyone out there contemplating getting one. Well, I have a very high pain tolerance. Like, I'll do it. I'm risky like that. Even if it do hurt. And I'm like, oh, okay, that wasn't so bad. It was when it happened. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a, like a 2. And then my septum, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give it a 5. And then my nose piercing, I give it a three, which was surprising because over, like when I remember getting this side of my nose done, I was like 18 or 19 and it didn't hurt at all. Yeah, like I felt like a small pinch and I was like, oh, that's different. Like, cause I was expecting it to feel like the first time and I felt nothing the first time. 
I just want to know if I promise to leave the products I used in my description box do I have to tell y'all every step because I really just want to talk through this like and catch y'all up with like my actual life you know just things that are different habits that I've picked up habits that I've dropped off you know this is the this is the elf hydrating camo concealer in the shade medium warm so I'm back in school um, I'm back at Paul Mitchell if you don't know I attended Paul Mitchell before uh, when I graduated high school I didn't go to college I went to um, Paul Mitchell to get my license in cosmetology long story short if you are new here I quickly realized that I you know hair was not for me like doing hair I didn't like but instead I became a makeup artist and that's what I did when I graduated from Paul Mitchell the first time and I graduated in 2016 fast forward 2023 um, I'm back in Paul Mitchell because they now offer an esthetician program or an aesthetics program and that's why I'm attending again because you know after all these years of being a makeup artist I've enjoyed it but like skin skincare or just the skin overall that's something that I've always been invested in um, especially because for years it took me some time to understand my own skin and understand you know how certain things certain products certain foods affect my skin and it shows up you know on my skin and so yeah that's really what made me want to go to esthetician school just my own struggle and journey with my own skin and like me and my skin we've been like this for like the past maybe i say five years like we really have developed an entire like new relationship and I'm happy for the both of us because before it was just nothing but a hate relationship you know if I start doing too much or overindulging in the sugar it quickly becomes a love hate relationship but as long as I'm doing my part it's all love and you know I've been doing my part, but however, I know how, you know, especially as a woman, like, we hate breakouts. Like, no one wants a freaking breakout, and no one wants to have to deal with that, like, and so I just want to be able to, you know, help women and assist women, you know, when it comes to our skin you know it's a it basically makeup and skin goes hand in hand when it comes to like me and my perspective like I feel like makeup starts with skin for one like you just absolutely cannot have like a fire ass makeup application without the proper skincare regimen or routine to go with it like I'm not saying your skin itself has to be perfect because mine isn't. I'm saying as far as just helping you contribute to that by just developing like a solid skincare routine, one that works for you in the day and night, like that's something like I'm really invested in because I've been invested in it so long when it comes to myself. I'm back in school for that because I love just overall beauty like I don't want to just be a makeup artist I know how to do hair but that doing other people's hair that's just out so like we can overall beauty I am invested in but like hair can miss me I'll do my own hair I'll be invested in that for myself but other people uh -uh. however if you ask me for like some some tips I got you like I'm not just gonna be like gatekeeping no i got you if you ask me for some genuine tips you know makeup and skincare to me they go hand in hand and so it's just like why not like 
you I have developed and really like mastered my craft and makeup why not develop and do the same thing in skincare you know when they both kind of align you know so and so that's what I'm doing you know and so far I'm loving it like I really really love going to school I'm enjoying my experience at school the people like my classmates even my teachers I love them they have been so helpful they've all been very you know very great you know um, I also have a job I'm drinking a little wine I also have a job now like those are my main two goals for this year you know go back to school and get a job at the same time um I have you know I'm just happy that I'm enjoying myself if anything like I'm happy for myself for enjoying this experience so far and I'm almost done like at that like y'all it's been a minute like we have not spoke in a minute like it feels like I just went back to school but also I'm about to be done at the same time that's how I know these piercings that heal because there's no reason I should just be banging my nose up like that but yeah um I'm in a really good space and I really cannot complain don't get me wrong like going back to school and then on top of that having a job it has been an adjustment for sure like it really has but I'm doing what I gotta do and because I'm doing you know things that I actually enjoy doing it doesn't always feel like a job like we all have our days where it's just like okay like I don't feel like dealing with nobody I don't feel like dealing with nobody I don't feel like talking to nobody I really just want to stay home like we all have those days so like that's not what I'm saying, you know. I we all have the days where we could just really do without all the extra. Uh I definitely have my days, but at the end of the day, my mom hates that at the end of the day. At the end of the day, um I still cannot complain and I still am very grateful for like going back to school and deciding to you know because i really never thought i would go back to school especially paul mitchell like i honestly if i'm being honest like my first experience at paul mitchell wasn't the greatest and it's really not a a place that i ever thought i would you know revisit you know, even if it is in a different city and state, like, I just never thought I would go back because of my first experience there. So to go back and for it to be even, like, better, like, way, way, way better, you know, I'm so grateful for that, you know, because I was a little nervous. I was very nervous i was very anxious and i'm like bro like how is this going to be the environment the people like those are the things i was you know concerned about the most but honestly so far so good and i'm really happy to to be you know in school to me a job is always going to be a job until i'm an entrepreneur i feel like i'm gonna always say it the same like it's my job you know and i enjoy it you know because of the environment and the people again but it's still a job starting out it was very hard for me to really balance them both because I'm like, well, where do I get my me time, you know? 
I, even though I don't necessarily agree with, you know, our generation being so quick to be like, F that job. I do understand our perspective though on where we come from, like where we are coming from when it comes to that. Because, you know, to a certain extent, I'm 50-50 with it. Like I'm neutral. Like I'm just like, I'm going to do my job. But if need be, you know, I'm grown now. Like I'm grown, grown. Like there's, that's just what it is now. Like I'm in no position to be like F that job at all. Like I just turned 27, you know, my birthday is November 22nd. Me and my mom's birthday is November 22nd. So both of our birthdays just passed. Um, depending on when I put this out. They just, it literally just passed. I literally turned 27. I'm knocking on 30's door, honey. I don't, I'm in no position to be like, up that job with, no, with nothing, with nobody. I have had no choice but to just really just find my balance, you know. Find my balance and figure out what works for me because right now this is my life these are my circumstances and i have to make them work you know i have to make it work yeah even though it took me some time to find my footing you know i found it and what was so crazy is like when i started school and work i started feeling the the urge to like record again and i'm like oh no like how do I do this like like today is the it's December it's the third that's why I said me and my mom's birthday just passed but depending on when I even can edit this and get it uploaded to y'all it probably didn't you know just pass like it's probably been a minute <laughs> no I'm gonna probably I'm gonna really do my best to get it up like this weekend so like I said it's Sunday it's the third and it's 11 30 p.m <laughs> it's the beginning of the week i'm gonna try to edit it this weekend the end of the week my daddy birthday coming up too i'm probably rambling but that's what this video is for like i'm just trying to make my comeback in peace you either like it or you don't because turning 27 i'm not gonna hold you and i plan on making a video like about that separately like my birthday plus you know it being the end of the year and all like we are in the last month of 2023 like that is so crazy that is so crazy if i'm being honest 2023 it really came and went like 2023 said i'm here bitch burp already so 2023 said i'm here for a good time not a long time okay like it straight up came did what needed to be done whatever that meant and straight up left yeah 27 i'm you know i'm I don't really want to get too deep into it because I want to save it for another video, but, you know, for my next video. But yeah, 27 came and I was like, oh, you're getting up there, girl. Like, you're getting up there. Like, you're aging. <laughs> and not like aging in a bad way because, honey, I'm beautiful and I believe it. Okay. But it was just like, oh, like. No, like, you're about to be 30, bitch. Like, man, like, this is a different era. Like, and so I'm in, I'm in, like, this phase of just trying to figure out what this means for me. Because I'm not who I used to be. I, I'm really not. Like, I'm completely different. And, like, I don't even know if y'all could tell that just, you know... Well, y'all really can, like, just by how, like, little I've been uploading. Like, I have not been, 
really getting on camera when i say uploading i'm talking about even like posting on youtube tiktok instagram like all of it it's not that i'm trying to figure it out i'm really going with the flow like i'm really allowing myself to just be what i feel like in a healthy way you know i'm not saying if i'm angry i'm just gonna just be angry towards everyone like that's not what i'm saying i'm about to color my hair and so i'm trying not to do too much because i'm so inspired by the color that i'm going to color my hair <sighs> so i want to keep this basic but this is the Narvina palette um from Anastasia Bev Beverly Hills and I'm going in with the shade love I'm not about to do any close-ups or anything like that like I'm just like in this like me era like I don't really care to explain myself I don't really care to like do anything that I genuinely just don't want to do that I don't feel like doing that I'm not you know inspired to do you know to be any of that like I, I really just want to move off of inspiration creativity and feeling right now if I'm really not loving it and feeling it and liking it then it's not anything I want to force myself to do, if I'm being honest. And so, that's really where I've been. And I'm okay with that. Like, I'm I'm so okay with that, you know. And in a way, I feel like I owe it to myself. Because I've never felt this way before or even granted myself with, like, this much grace at the end of the day. Like. You know, and so that's what I'm just going to do. And that's why I haven't been uploading a lot. Like, I did put YouTube on the back burner. I'm not going to lie. I put social media, period. Oh, my God. Can you chill? And I want it to be good. Like, I'm like, you know what? It's okay if, even if what I want to do, like, my career, like, being in the beauty industry, it does require being you know involved in social media because you have to keep up with the latest trends you have to know what's really going on what the girlies are loving nowadays you know and you really just have to like be present you know if you want to grow your audience you have to post you have to engage with the audience that you do have even if it's not a big one I had to allow myself to even be comfortable enough with like being okay with like not posting like it's just like yeah like you're probably screwing your algorithm in the ass but right now like you're just not there you're not present and I don't want to force it I'm just the type of person I never want to force anything I got to the point where I just full blown accepted it. I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, I'm not on social media like that and I don't care to be and I'm not gonna force myself to be. And however it is, whatever things look like when I return, that's just what it is. Because whatever is meant for me, it's, it will happen. Like, that part, I'm really not, I'm not afraid of, like, like whatever is meant for me it's just it's going to happen all on its own even in a way where you know i probably won't be able to understand it but that's how you know it was meant for me like it was and it was meant to be you know so i just keep that type of stuff in mind like you know to me that is so pretty like just the cut like focusing color on your inner corner and blowing it out but like blowing it out just enough or just blending it out 
just enough to where it looks blown out but then somehow it never reaches your outer corner to me that is the most beautiful eye look ever like like i just don't know how it wouldn't be i think 26 like if i could describe the year of 26 it was really me coming into like myself like living for myself you know just being who I am with like no apologies just not second guessing but also like figuring that out without like needing validation which is why I wasn't on social media like I didn't care you know about my career as much you know where I I'm so career driven that is my biggest realization just like in life period like I realize how much I'm so like focused on my career where it's just like damn like girl you got to give yourself a break like everything I do every decision I make everything I think about I'm like how is this going to affect my career and it's just like that's cool and all but it's also you are so much more than your career charity like that's really what I be telling myself like girl you are so much more than your career and you have the right to be because you are a person you like you are a human just chill like take it easy you know like at first it was just like you're only 22 you're only 23 you're only 24 you're only 25 and then it was like you're 26 babe like well really at 25 it was just, it was just like you're 25 girl like you're halfway to 30 girl you really need to be laser focused on your career then 26 came and i think turning 26 taught me that being in your later 20s is not a bad thing and so it made me care about nothing you know and now i'm just like girl like you have the right to not care like you cannot care and that is okay like you know i'm so mad because i ordered individual lashes in the mail so i ordered those in the mail off of amazon why in the hell did they send me screws they sent me loose screws in the mail. Literally loose screws. Bitch, I'm like, are y'all crazy? What am I supposed to do with this? I don't have anything to hang up. I don't have anything to nail to the wall. I don't have anything, like, I can't put this to use. Why on earth would you send me screws? Like, it pissed me off so good. Like, I was just like, bruh, are you crazy? Like... And then conveniently, like, I went on my Amazon Prime account, and I'm like, return item. It says return or replace item. So I hit that, and it says this item can't be returned conveniently. So now I'm, like, thinking, oh, y'all scamming. Like, y'all just here scamming. But, but no, ma'am, I found a way to get my way because... You're not going to send me screws in the mail when I'm expecting a lash extension kit with the glue and the bond and all of that in it. Like, all of it. Like, you're not about to do that to me. 26 was like my resting period. Honestly. Like, it was my resting period Did you know, just go inward. That was hermit mode for me go inward you know figure it out do what i had to do you know what i'm saying i got 27 i'm just like girl no man like a lot has changed and i'm trying to figure out how to put you know because i know how to live like my regular life as a 27 year old and come to terms with that but i'm just like how do i make that same this same statement on my youtube channel but i decided to make it into a journey just 
you know, not just as a 27 year old, just as a person, you know, a person who's just really trying to figure it out. And that's all I'm trying to do. And so that's what i'm about right now just i'm just figuring out i'm just living i'm just doing me and yeah that's what's going on and i just want y'all to be a part of that and so you will you know this is my first video of that and this is not really the best video to see when it comes to the first video because this is just the chit chat get ready with me um but aside from that you know i'm just going to be talking about the new year and how everything is looking just from this perspective and all my plans and going forward and all of that but i didn't want this video to be crammed like when it comes to me returning to YouTube. So, honestly, like, y'all can probably look forward to, like, two or three more videos. I'll say that. Like, two for sure. Three is, we'll see. But y'all can look forward to two or three more videos for sure. Look at the makeup. She's a strawberry shortcake, babe chill uh right let's do this lipstick or just these lips honey like i'm not doing anything extra i done had this lip pencil for so long you see how little it is this is the uh lip pencil from ColourPop in the shade pitch I'm just going to line my entire lip around it or <laughs> line this around my entire lip. And honestly, this lip is not going to be like overly complicated like damn I've just realized I've been mostly out of frame with that lip liner so hopefully y'all got what I could give you. I'm going in with this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Eclair. I'm about to layer so many glosses. Because, and the reason I'm layering so many glosses is because I'm using the glosses in my to-go makeup bag. Well, I used all of the products in my to-go makeup bag. I just don't want to have to get up and use any more, so yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna also top it off with this matte creme sheen gloss in the shade um fashion school i know what the creme sheen gloss is from mac they got rid of so many colors it sucks like they discontinued so many shades for the creme sheen glosses I hate that because me personally, I love the creme sheen glosses more than the actual lip glass, lip gloss. So, however, you know, majority always wins. Should I put on my earrings to at least say like bye to you all? Let me put on my earrings to end the video and that's what it's going to be because right now the video is all that matters not the photos <sighs> here we are because I'm about to roll up alright this is the final look. I love this look. Like, it's so pretty and just, like, monochromatic, if you ask me. Because I did use, like, two different shades of pink blush. But, like, they were the prettiest shades of pink. Like, going out my way to leave the entire product. I'm not doing that. Like, I could guarantee you I'm not doing that. But, yeah. You know. 
this is the final look even though there was no like goal in mind in the first place there was no like finished look in mind in the first place I just really hope you know you know y'all got to get to know me more you know for where I am and you know this current stage of my life that was the whole point of this video just catching up and just you know having some you know girl chat whatever you want to call it and I hope I, I gave enough if anything because I really am trying to find my balance with that like without being too private but also you know laying y'all in on just you know the parts of me that I'm willing to share without being like paranoid to share too much I don't know Hopefully that made sense, but yeah, um, you know, just happy that I am recording again. Like, I love this look. I really hope that I stay up to take pictures, and um, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video, and I'm done, you know, just running my mouth because I feel like I'm rambling at this point, so yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video, and you know what I'm saying? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You know what I'm saying? Like this video, comment down below. You know, comment what you want to see from me on my channel. Keep in mind, this is a beauty channel. Comment some topics you want to hear me talk about. You know, yeah, I'm open. So, yeah, and then <laughs> be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you will be notified whenever I do upload you know i'm back baby and i'm gonna be consistent this time like being back like for real i'm gonna be consistent i promise you don't worry about my schedule don't don't worry about all that like in the next maybe like not the next two videos maybe the next video after that i have like an answer for you all when it comes to like my upload and schedule but these next two videos no I'm just coming back in, so give me some room and some space to to find my rhythm with these next two videos, not including this one. This one is going up, and then I'll have the next two, and like, after that. I, I'll see you all in my next one. Thank you for watching, and yeah, I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.